G'day Church, I hope you are well and you know the Lord's nearness and presence with you as we go through lockdown with Him. Today I'd just like to share a three Christian disciplines with you that I think would be really beneficial and a blessing to us uh, as we uh, wait at home. Uh, they are uh, rejoicing, uh, thankfulness uh, and prayerfulness and they come from Philippians 4 verse 4 to 7. So you might like to grab a Bible uh, and read along with me, but Philippians 4 verse 4 says, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which trans all, transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Let me just uh, draw your attention to the middle of verse 6 there. Uh, these instructions, this teaching that uh, Paul's giving us is to be used in every situation, in all situations. And I just love that little phrase there because the situation that we find ourselves in is quite unique. If you'd asked someone 10 years ago whether we were going to be in lockdown for uh, months uh, at home, not allowed to go anywhere but to go shopping, I think you wouldn't have thought that was coming. But this is one of the situations that God has placed us in. And in every situation, uh, Paul gives us some attitudes, some disciplines, some ways of thinking that the Lord will bless. And uh, what he promises is that as we do these things, that the peace of God which is beyond our own understanding, that that will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. And I really like that phrase there, that it will guard our minds. I don't know about you, but I've certainly found that I, I really need someone else to guard me. <laughs> it's to guard my mind and my heart that I may have peace and not be frustrated at home, not be frustrated with the same situation and scenario and things just being a uh, bit dull and difficult. I, I actually need God and his peace to come and guard me. I need his help. Uh, and the way we get this uh, peace, the way God comes to guard us in this way, is by, first of all, rejoicing there. Uh, Paul's happy to tell us this twice, or many times actually in the book of Philippians, to rejoice. Uh, he doesn't tell us to rejoice in just anything, but to rejoice in the Lord. As Christians, uh, we always have the Lord to rejoice in. No matter what situation or circumstance, we can turn to the Lord and find joy. Now, we've just been looking in 1 Peter about how we have this blessed and glorious inheritance kept for us, which is unfading and imperishable. And now, even though we go through sufferings and difficulties at this time, they're only preparing us to receive and in the end, be with the Lord to receive that inheritance. We all always have something to rejoice in when we turn to the Lord. Rejoicing uh, most of all in our salvation. Rejoicing in his forgiveness, in his love, in his care, uh, in our future with him. We can always find reasons to rejoice. So even though our life in lockdown can be a bit dull, even though for many it will be produce anxiety, as we've seen uh, here in verse 6. Uh, even though we don't always display the gentleness that's evident to all because we get a bit frustrated at home and sick of rubbing up against our family all the time, uh, God actually call, uh, calls us to turn and rejoice in Him and all that He has done for us. So it's the first one. Uh, during this lockdown, would you rejoice in the Lord? Uh, there's not a whole ton of other things going on in your life, I assume. So if you really want to find joy, and it's the best place to find joy, you can turn to the Lord and all that he's done for you. Next, uh, we're told in anxious and difficult circumstances that we can pray. Uh, we can go to uh, God and particularly mention that we can uh, petition God. That is, we can uh, ask him. Uh, we can, you know, you sign a petition to uh, beseech the government to change, to help, to do something. Well, we can too can go to God and petition and ask for his help. Ask for him to come and give us peace. Uh, to come help us. To give us uh, joy. And I think, although... 
uh, we may not use this opportunity well. Lockdown gives us a wonderful opportunity to pray. Life has slowed down. And many of us have a, a lot less on our plates, uh, a lot more uh, free time to fill. And as we slow down, uh, what an opportunity we have to petition God, to spend time in prayer, and to seek Him. Perhaps the very reason that God brought this lockdown uh, into our life is that so we would have the time and inclination to pray. So do go and seek God. And as you draw near to this great, to our great God, you do find peace uh, because you come to someone bigger and greater than you who loves you, who's in control. Uh, you do find peace as you pray to God. You do find joy as you pray to God. And lastly, we're told to do this with uh, thanksgiving. Uh, thanksgiving, uh, when you start to do uh, thanksgiving, it really does lift you. Uh, you can get into negative mindsets and and just go down a, a bad path of thinking nothing is good in life and everything's difficult. And yet when you just take a few moments to be thankful, you look around and you see all that God has given you, all that he has blessed you with. And perhaps around uh, your dinner table, uh, you tonight you might like to, as you're eating and sharing a meal, there's not much during the day to catch up on. So you could just share about things that you're thankful for and uh, see how many things you can come up with. Because the Lord truly does bless us and give us uh, many, many good things. And I think if you're in a rut uh, in lockdown, if you're in a rut at home, uh, spending time in thankfulness. Uh, will truly bless you and settle your heart and take away any anxiety or worry as you see God's uh, great uh, care and provision for you and your heart is filled with thankfulness. Uh, it will le lead you to more joyfulness. It will lead you to pray and to thank God uh, for all that he has given you. So I just encourage you, if you're feeling anxious, if you would uh, love to know more of God's peace to come and guard your heart and your mind while you're at home, uh, then rejoice in the Lord, uh, pray and ask for his help, and be filled with thankfulness for all that he has given you. And pray that together, as we do these things, we truly be blessed by the Lord.